Greetings, YouTube. I have been asked behind the scenes this past week, partially while I was traveling, Prof, why have you not talked about this Android issue that's been going on for a couple months? And I wanted to continue to gather data and feedback from different people to make sure it wasn't just happening to like one person. And it turns out that this is certainly something that is still ongoing for so many people and players. And it's interesting because it's the first time I can remember a problem being brought to my attention that not only involves different phones, mainly Android, but not, uh, as we'll see, always Android, but also carriers. So if you are unfamiliar with this, and it actually personally affects me because I am on the network, Sprint merged with T-Mobile recently, and that has caused uh, some issues with players logging into the game. Now, this goes all the way back to October, we're talking two months ago, where players were having difficulty just loading the game. And I know that still is an issue. It takes a long time for me to load the game now, and of course it still crashes about every 15 minutes. That's almost to be expected. Yesterday was the first time that it actually cost me half of my health in Alliance Quest, unfortunately. I knew it would happen eventually, and of course it would happen on day five, but thankfully it was with Corvus that I have willpower, so I at least was able to heal up some at the start of the fight. But uh, Kabam Porthos warned old Sergeant Sledgehammer here because uh, his point says two months and still can't log onto mobile data. So basically, imagine that you could only play MCOC if you have a Wi-Fi signal. Now, if you're like me, you might have a Wi-Fi signal for one minute and then it'll crash the next minute. My Wi-Fi goes out three to four times a day minimum because the Oklahoma, Oklahoma Internet must reflect the Oklahoma economy unreliable and likely to crash. So uh, this guy for two months still can't log into mobile data. So he has to, if he's driving and he's an officer, if he has to check something, he's got to pull into a place that's got Wi-Fi. So this post uh, literally sums it up. This is getting absolutely absurd with all the money you people just raked in off cyber deals. You'd think you could have one program or take care of something. Uh, try being an officer and coordinating a top alliance and dealing with changing map seven while being unable to log and check things unless you're on Wi-Fi. So I have to continue to pull over and find a local Starbucks just to scout somebody's path and assign. The game is becoming much more of a headache than it's worth. Now, I've only heard from about three people who are directly affected with this, and they've been the last couple of weeks that they've hit me up. But when I ask some of these summoners, this guy included, he said there are plenty of people in his alliance that also are affected. So it is certainly not just a very small percent problem like sometimes Android issues are with, say, older devices. So on top of that, this guy, of course, was warned. <laughs> Discussion was removed for violating the following forum rules. Expect summoners to treat each other with respect, insults. Now, anytime you use the phrase, you people, as uh, this post says, you're going uh, you're gonna to risk getting the uh, hammer because Kabam likes to silence posts that don't even have words like you people in it. So that that was a pretty big risk, not going to lie, to put in a post. So that was the first amount of feedback. And then um, and then the addition of that, this guy responded and said, thousands of people have been placing instructive actual feedback for months. So yeah, I had to make a rude post to get any sort of response from anyone. It's seriously ridiculous how long this has been going on in regards to the inability to access your servers on T-Mobile or Sprint Samsung devices. And so that was a Samsung issue. And then we have um, different issues just on this post. Game not loading on 4G LTE services, Galaxies 10. Uh, you have some Sprint T-Mobile issues. I use my T-Mobile carrier to hotspot for other devices. My problem has been since the November update. I have other games that run fine, but MCOC is unplayable unless I'm at home connected to Wi-Fi. Network speed of my hotspot is 65 Mbps. Uh, Android 11 not connecting over T-Mobile as well. Excessive load times over mobile issues. And that is the connection for T-Mobile. So for the past month or so, playing MCC has been a mission, a ridiculous and unnecessary mission. There have been abnormally long load times that occur when logging into the game, moving in quests, purchasing items through the game store, and just switching between screens in general from menu to menu. Um, game not loading. So, you know, they're, they're all kinds of the same posts. So um, just imagine this was you, right? Just imagine that you couldn't play the game unless you're on Wi-Fi. For me, that would mean much of the game I just couldn't play during the day because I don't have quality uh, Wi-Fi connection. So uh, it is making me feel at, at one point oddly like thankful for an iPhone, but the other hand guilty that uh, these summoners are experiencing the same thing on the same mobile network that I have. So 
What are your thoughts on this, YouTube? Please uh, let me know in the comments. And if you're experiencing this problem or similar, please put this in the comments because this video, unlike the Kabam forums, uh, they can't silence or censor or delete. And so this really is a free forum for feedback on game issues as always.